It was 1916. A few years into the war, I was in the army. Infantry unit. All Welsh division over in France. Gwyn Schrodes, The Audio Adventures of the Legends of Tomorrow. Episode 19. The Sad, 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 Sad Scientist. When I'm done with him, he'll be sorry he stole from me in the first place. Why don't you let me deal with this? You're not in the right mindset. Plus, I need to talk to him about Alan. I'll get your transporter back. Okay. I'm still coming with you. Me too. Fine. But promise you'll let me do the talking. Please. All right. I promise I won't make a scene. Okay, fine. Gwen was still in the kitchen. He had managed to build himself a tiny workshop, and he was buried so deep in his work that he didn't hear Ali enter until it was too late and she spotted Iris's device before he could hide it from her. So it was you who stole Iris's teleporter. Oh, Gwen. She made it clear that she didn't want you to study it. I know. But I thought that there might be a chance I could recreate the process and build a set of personal teleporters for all of us, with Gideon's help. Iris didn't want to hear about this. And therefore you thought it would be a good idea to steal the device from her? This was a terrible idea, Gwen. We're a team. We have to be able to trust each other. And that means no more stealing. And also, no more lying. I have something to confess. Alan left earlier today. What? No, that's not possible. Why would he leave? He was distraught, because Astra is the only one able to turn you back to your normal size. And he couldn't wait any longer. You're telling me that he left to try and free the legends? But that's insane. He will most probably get caught, or worse. Quinn's face crumbled, and he sat on a matchbox. All this for nothing. Now that he's all alone, without us to protect him, the Time Masters will send him back to his death and therefore restore the timeline. I... We did all this in vain. I was right from the start. Alan and myself weren't meant to be together. Please don't say that, Gwen. There's still hope. But we all need to work together. She's right, Gwen. I'm sorry I refused to let you study my device. But I was scared. My powers can be quite overwhelming, and this device helps me keep them in check. I was afraid you might tamper with the technology and break it. Also make, for what it's worth, I apologize for calling you a thief. Iris and Mick had followed Ali in the kitchen, but had remained in the background as promised. We're good. Besides, I was a legendary thief. Next time, just don't jump to conclusions, got it? Yeah, yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover. I get it. What now? Now you study my device and we'll try to find a way to clone it for others to use. I don't think I will be able to do that, Miss Iris. You were right. This technology is way beyond my understanding. Bugger! Let's hope that Tia and Gideon were successful in deciphering my vision. Iris, would you mind telling us a bit more about your powers? We pretty much know nothing about you. Right, but you have to promise that you won't freak out. Especially you, Gwen. Eureka! We got it! Miss Black, we know where your vision took place. Gideon, your timing. I know, right? It sucks. 